Perfect. HV, wow, okay. You just surprised me right there. Never seen this move before. Maybe C4, Knight, C3 to justify. Okay, whatever, what on earth is this? Okay, let's play the Leningrad. A3, H3. Oh wait, my opponent is below 1400. I did not even notice. I thought he's about 1900. Why did I get paired against 1400? And now he's about to auto resign. Well, I think this is because I played the Dutch, right? I mean, when you see the Dutch, you play three moves, you realize that any resistance is futile. Yeah, and just use the disconnect, of course. You see? If he plays e4, okay, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. A3, wow. B4. Okay, okay. I have no idea what this is. Just a second. Let me think. What on earth is A3? What on earth is A3? Can I do this? Can I do this? And this. D takes B5. Okay, maybe 95. Okay, I got my perfect position. Never seen before this kind of setup. I think White has some technical issues here. How do I make progress? Okay, G5, win H5, 9 G4 makes a lot of sense. Especially since he weakened the king. Yes. Oh, wait, maybe I should have started with 9 G4. Check. This looks like a forced win already. Just a second. Queen of three, nine g four, or nine g four h three. Now let's start with a check. Here. Rook f one is the only move. And where's my victory? Remains to be seen, I suppose. Bishop b2 takes, knight e3 takes, queen e3. I don't see it. Here, here, here. Here. Just a second. I can't believe this. There's no win. Okay, I guess I have to play a bit more positional. It was looking very promising. Knight d2. I thought he has to take the knight on e5. I think I already missed some shot on D2. Okay, whatever. Rook D2 looks to be winning, right? Queen D2 is a bit more spectacular. I'm not going to flag. Trot 
trying to imprison the king. No stalemate. Disconnected. Mm. Okay, GG. <laughs> the abandoned gambit. Oh, today's the day of the Leningrads. I love it. The weather forecast predicted a lot of Leningrads today. A lot of violence. All right. That's basically the same as in the previous game. Put the knight to d5, play c6, and be happy. Wait, did I miss some knight b5? I should be a bit more careful, I guess. Okay, now I'm gonna play c6, just to make sure there's no knight b5. The knight on d4 is beautiful, but that's pretty much it. There's g5, queen h5, maybe four ideas. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go immediately for the mate. I'll simply ignore the queen side. I could have played a5 as well, just to fix the weaknesses. But I'm going to ignore it. Obviously, I don't want to trade queens. Ah, he's pretty solid. Pretty solid. But his position is falling apart. Four. Take on h3, bishop g2, queen h1. This is the typical idea. Even knight g4 somewhere is there. Probably in my career, I won like a couple of hundred games like this. This f queen h5, f4, bishop h3, mate. It's like with a grand prix attack. It's very typical. All right. Thank you for the game. He wants a rematch. Okay, let's give him a rematch with a Dutch. Perfect. Queen d3. Never seen this move before in my life. Can I play d5, c5? Something very similar to the course. I mean, this idea to sacrifice the b-pawn is uh, sometimes there. Not entirely sure if this is necessary here. Yeah, now this pin looks incredibly unpleasant. Well, if that's not a mate, then I don't know what this is. 
Yeah. All right. Thanks, buddy. Wait, there is no introduction in the which is about me? What is there? Okay, let's try to go for that again for the swift mate. Your friendly neighborhood grammaster. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I remember. I mean, what do you want me to write there? I think it's enough. How much more info do you need? All right, let's go forward. Forward. I didn't even calculate what happens if he takes an H5. I guess we are going to figure it out. Forward. Forward. Bishop E8. Hope I can do this. Now d5 takes, queen e5, bishop f4, whatever. C takes, 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 and just ignore. Well, if there's no mate, then I don't know how mate looks like. Just a second. There's a cute idea. Knight f7, a bishop f7, a bishop f6, bishop f6, queen h7, king e8, knight e6, bishop e6, and queen c7. Does it work? I think it works. Hasta la vista, baby. That's it. Shape one. Hey! You subscribe, no notification? Uh, just a second. Hey, just a nerd. Just a second. Uh, let me check it. Give me a moment, okay? I'm gonna wrap up this game. Fine. There's totally a mate somewhere. Yes. Yes, perfect. Perfect. What was it? Bishop C4. I mean, this order the most I don't remember. But I'm not looking at this. I mean, G6, is this even necessary? Let's just play Knight C6. E5 is there. Not A5. Let's play not A5. The typical idea. I just killed the bishop. Some E5 takes. Queen D1, Knight G4 looks pretty interesting. Let's play g6, bishop g7 says this is the Dutch run. What is the uh, history behind the Latvian flag? I wish I would remember. 
What do I continue here? The best thing about Latvia is the beautiful woman. <laughs> uh, makes sense. I mean, I kept the extra pawn, but there are obviously some difficulties involved. There we go. No more difficulties. It's just technically winning. Let's simplify. Should be winning somehow. Somehow, I said. <laughs> Probably watching the thing, right? Yeah. Actually, my video beating Kramnik is soon to be published on YouTube because I beat him. Chessable Masters playing stage this February. Okay, what is this? Bishop g5, not sure. What really changes? Thank you, Gwenter, for the sub. Appreciate it. Let's play five. You see, again, mission accomplished. I push e5. Uh, Bishop. G5, bishop c1 was a very original approach. Keep there. More like two tempi. More like two. Normally the queen stands on e8 best, but okay, if I can put it on e7, why not? Completing development here. D5, 98. This is some typical King's Indian defense. All right, let's. It's time to start some action. Otherwise, this is a bit slow. Uh. Yeah, I don't want to trade this guy. I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean, I could just trade it and play e4. But the knight on d2 is pretty terrible. So why do I want to trade it? Thinking about some kinks of attack ideas. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think it's time to start something. I'm not sure what he's building there. This is why I like the Leningrad. Everything goes towards the opponent's king. It's really that simple. F5, knight of 6, G6, bishop G7, castle, E5, G5, F4. Everything goes to the king.
So I'm going to close the center to start successful kings at attack. This is a big threat. His army is chilling away. Yeah, exactly. I mean, completely disconnected. There's f3, queen h5, knight g4. The pawn on f3 very often is a powerful catalyst to start a decisive attack. Maybe bishop h6 to trade off this knight, which protects some key squares. So I try to mate on g2. Trade this off because the bishop on g7 doesn't really participate in the attack. Trade off the other knight, and then somehow there should be a mate. Somehow. Trade this off. Trade this off. There you go. Something is happening here. The, the bishop here is pretty useless. Hello, Epshi. Maybe I'll get the chance to sacrifice the queen as well. No, he's not going to give me the pleasure. All right, GG. Just no e4, please. Please play no e4. Actually, maybe I should rename my username. No e4, please. But today, the weather forecast is really good. I mean, it predicts a lot of Dutch. Like this. The point is to meet bishop a3 with knight c5. Okay, here. So this is one of the typical positions of the Leningrad. There's a lot of maneuvering, but I mean, still you're thinking about this king's at attack at some point. Maybe some knight g4, knight f2, knight e4 ideas. You need a bishop alive, so put it here in f7. There's no e4, basically never. At least never where it really makes any sense. So but okay, for that, let's just play rook e8 just in case so that he doesn't think about it too much. Rook d8. Think about some h5, h4 maybe. Maybe knight g4, knight e5. Yeah, knight f4 is a move, but not really sure what it does. Okay, let's try to go here. h3, knight f2, queen e3, queen g3. e4 is some f4 ideas. Yeah, it's again a bit tricky. Can I sacrifice the piece here? Here, 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 here. This looks very tempting. Oh, can you do that? Wait, what? The X bishop of three. Okay, let's let's assume he can do that. Mm -hmm. Some discover checks were threatening. Oh. 
as I did not really expect. Ninety five. So I guess this is what he wants. Ninety five, ninety five, ninety five photometers. Probably with a wait. I thought I'm sacrificing. I oh, silly me. Should have calculated a bit more. That was a bit lousy. I'll loosen it a little bit. Queen C5. Okay, now it's about equal. Yes, I made a course. I made a course on this. Should be better endgame for me. He has weaknesses. That was a silly move. Why did I rush with this? Shouldn't have rushed with this. Now this might not be enough. Oh wait, why am I taking the pawn? Oh my goodness. Uh, what I'm doing... Okay, let's not risk this. I'm not sure if that was a winning game game. Wait, what? Ah, oh, no! Ah! Oh, my goodness. That is a shame. Wait. I screwed up. So this entire game was really nice for me from the very beginning. It should have been an easy victory. About here, about here, about here. Takes, 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 takes. It was looking really good. Ah. Gave it there.